Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 3. Here we are at the Iron Farm, and we need to finish this thing out. The storage room needs to be done. We need to be using this area instead of the temporary area. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Iron Farm Storage Room. And last episode, we got in the silos for all these other storage areas here. We've already had the bulk iron ingot collection going to be going in right there. That's been done for a while, but we got these silos in, and we worked out an overflow section, an overflow thing here, so that we could get rid of any of the extra items coming in from those automated farms that we're going to be building around here. And then we put them into this, this item stream that's going to take them to destruction either by lava or cactus. I haven't decided yet, but by the end of this episode, we'll have figured that out. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the next phase. So we actually need to start working on getting items into all of these storage areas. So right now we've got our item stream coming from the item elevator that's all the way down at bedrock and it's coming into right here and going to our temporary storage you can see that item stream going off that way. We need to bring it down and go through a whole series of sorters that's going to start over on that side. So we're going to bring this item stream and make a little dog leg and go this way and then bring it down eventually and go through a series of sorters that are going to start right here and then work their way around ultimately ending up over there so we need to first get going on the sorting system i'm going to use the overflow protection one from impulse sv and if you want to learn more about that one feel free to check out his tutorial in the description box below but let me go gather some materials and then we'll get started at least on the iron ingot storage or sorting area in just a moment all right ladies and gentlemen we're back i've got some supplies uh that still still is giving me the right the right feeling yep as soon as we walk in boom mm. man that looks good all right so our concern is not for the aesthetics today. We're working on the functionality and we're going to go back here. I've got some supplies ready and I'll show you my inventory in just a moment once we climb this ladder and we'll turn around and we'll see that I have done some additional work up here. Let's see if we can get, can we get up there? Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go to the ladder. Thank you. So we'll climb up here. You can see that I've done some extra work all the way around and we've got what's going to be the water channel for the items. You might be wondering what in the world is all of this stuff for. You'll see in just a moment, but first things first, we're going to be setting up the Impulse SV sorters for this thing. And so right now we're on the iron output and the main thing that we need right now is comparators and hoppers so we're just going to go along like this I'll do a couple of these just to give you an idea of how this is all going to go and then we'll uh, we'll go off camera for a lot of the work because it's pretty much just gonna be rinse and repeat so what, we, what we've got is some comparators they're gonna be reading a signal from this hopper and this hopper is going to have our uh, our filter items in it and then what we'll do is we'll drop down here. We're going to be running some redstone up top. Uh, do we need? We won't need those. We'll need some repeaters though. And additional hoppers? No. No, no, no. We've got plenty of torches out and about. We'll get some redstone dust on the hotbar just to, for some grins and giggles. Anything else? maybe put the bow away and we'll get some scaffold blocks all right so what we got to do is come back here and put in some nether brick again i explained in the last episode that the reason we do the nether brick is because uh, just in case you've got a haste 2 beacon and an efficiency 5 pick 
you're not going to easily get through it. That's the main thing. So that's why I do that. Just in case you missed it last episode, I'm going to jump up here to show you what else we have to do. And we'll get some redstone dust coming off this comparator down to that block. And then we'll drop down and put a redstone torch right like so. All right, so what's going to happen is we will have filter items in each of these hoppers. We're going to have a filter or an item that cannot be sorted, and I've already named that. I'll show you once we get all these done. And then we'll have the item we want to actually pull out. And it's going to only give a signal at a certain point, and then there'll be a, enough redstone signal reading, or a, enough of a reading off of this hopper. And I'm butchering this explanation, but there'll be enough of a reading off this hopper out of this comparator to extend down to this piece of redstone dust right here. That repeater right there is going to pull the signal out of this block and then turn off the redstone torch that is right here. That will unlock this block and, and behind that, you can't see it so well. Let's see if we can put some scaffold blocks here. All right. So we're going to have a hopper here. In fact, we could probably get one of those started just to give you an idea of how this is going to go. We'll have a hopper facing down and another one facing down like so. So this redstone torch is going to be locking both this hopper and this block, which is going to be locking that hopper, keeping any additional items from coming through. But once we get enough signal, meaning that we've picked up an item that we want, It'll unlock and we'll go down into our bulk storage down there. So uh, this design right here is by Impulse SV. I think I mentioned that in the last clip. And I will put a link to his tutorial in the description box below. But I've got 13 of these things to do and I've got plenty more all the way around the farm. So let me take care of that and I'll bring you back once we're ready to go for the next part. Well, all the sorters are now in place all the way around the farm, and so that means we can start turning our attention to actually moving items out of the old area down there and move them into here. So I've gone ahead and gotten this prepped for when the water streams are in place, and what we're going to be doing is taking some water right here on this block, shoving all the items right here into these two ender chests, and that's going to make those items kind of straddle the line between the ice and these hoppers. So that way they can get picked up if we've got a sorter in place for them and they won't lose speed as they travel across that solid block. It's also going to keep them from bouncing around, hopefully, in the hopper. The model did change for that in 1.9, so I don't know. We'll see. I have not tried this yet, but... Uh, from from some other tests that I've seen it shouldn't be too much of a problem but anyway what I'm going to do now is start getting the ice or the water streams going the way I'm doing that is by uh, using some ice and we just hit that okay so what we do need is to make sure we've got flowing water that's going to be pushing into every set of these inner chests all the way around and then that's going to make sure those items go flush up against that hitbox. So I'm going to continue this all the way around. Every time we hit a spot where uh, we've got a water stoppage, we'll put a slab in and then some more ice right here. And Bob's your uncle. So I'm going to continue that all the way around and I'll bring you back once we are ready to, well, what would I, well, I don't know. Let's see, what do we got to do? We need to actually put in the sorting. So we still have to program this thing. So that'll probably be next. So I'll bring you back once we're ready to program all the sorters. Well, the water streams are in place. So that means it is time to program this thing. Oh, it looks like we've got... Hmm. Well, that will be fixed soon enough. So let's start putting in the programming here. So what I've got is I've renamed some dirt to don't sort me bro. So that should, uh, we shouldn't get any dirt in there. If we do happen to get some dirt in, it means that somebody is playing a trick on me on the server here. And what's gonna happen, you'll see now that there's enough signal strength to light up this piece of redstone dust. And you notice even when it was at a full stack, it did not have enough strength to 
come over and leak into this line right here, which means that we've got some built-in overflow protection. Yes, we've got some other overflow protection built in as well down, uh, down on that line of water, but uh, this is going to make sure that we don't screw up our, our entire sorting algorithm here. So uh, I'm going to go around like so, and we'll put that in. Notice that it's going to drop down to about what, 41 or 42. Let's just see it. It's going to stop right there. Okay, so whenever we get some more iron ingots in, uh, it's going to allow just enough to come through. and We'll stop at 41. And we've got a large array of these things here for the iron ingots because we are going to be getting a lot of those and they'll be coming in pretty quickly. So uh, let me do that. We've got uh, a line of things here. I just have to follow this all the way around. So iron blocks, poppies, so on, all the way around like that. And I'm going to have to make another trip to the chest I have set up for all those materials. But let me get that in place. And then we'll go take a look and make sure that our sorting is working before we fully turn on this item elevator. All right. Well, I've programmed all of the sorters all the way around. So let's take a look. I've got a hopper in here. I think I'm going to have a hopper in each one of these. Should be getting 22 in each one. Yep. Yep. There we go. And some extra dirt, of course. This is just from the building process along the way. Happen to get extra stuff in there. So yeah, it looks like it's at least letting through the amount that I'm figuring. Hmm, there's something wrong there. So I shall have to check that out. And that's fine. So probably a hopper is messed up somewhere in there. All right, so we'll make a note of that. Second from the end. Okay, let's go around here. Yep. So let me take care of this and go fix that other problematic one. Five in there. I guess one is stuck up in the sorter. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so I'm going to check all of these and go fix that other one that still seems to be messed up. And in case we have any others that are messed up, I'll take care of those too. And I'll bring you back for the next phase of our project. All right, I found the culprit. It was from our overflow thing that we did last week, that clock. So I was using a redstone torch down here and a solid block on the sticky, uh, sticky blocks here. And that was locking this hopper. The redstone torch was locking this hopper right here. So I've since changed that into a redstone block, which has a downside of keeping this whole circuit powered. It's going to fire that dropper once more once the piston retracts, but I think that's going to be fine for now. So as long as we just have it on this particular one over here, uh, we shouldn't have any problems elsewhere. So I don't, yeah, we don't have any problems right there. So, um, so yeah, all the other items came through just fine. We did have a couple of mix-ups on the which. Uh, witch drops so I just had to switch those around but anyway for now I think we are ready to go with our sorting system so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that item stream and turn it to go into our main area so we're getting ready to turn this thing on and we should be uh, well close to opening all right so let me get that moved over I'll bring you back once we start seeing some items progress through. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've got iron ingots flowing down into our main sorting highway here. Yep, so I've made that turn. And so that means that I need to do a little cleanup for our temporary one. But we have reached the end of my time for this episode this week. So... I'm going to get that thing cleaned up off camera. We still have some work to do around here. We've got a an auto craft, not auto crafting, but a crafting area to do. We've also got to do the junk chest. So we've got uh, still got a little bit of work to do. And it ended up being a lot more than I figured for this episode. But I'm going to close up our little uh, thing there, our exit into the inner workings of this whole place and it's hidden behind behind the walls. So that's pretty cool. 
We've got iron ingots coming in here. I'm going to get the temporary storage moved as well, but I'm going to take care of that between now and the next time we're together. But we're going to be back here next week. We've got to work on this jump chest, and we've also got to work on an automated way of sending crafted iron blocks back into the system. So we're going to be working on that next week. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. And uh, yeah, so any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. But that's going to be it for this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.